everyone. So I'm going through part one on your muscle list for the cat. So double check your notes for clarification. You, you can also look at your lab manual, um, but on your list on Blackboard, everything's numbered. And I'm gonna go through the numbers of everything just to kind of make sure you know what's what. So this is part one. Number one is the pectoralis major, which is this triangle right here. Number two is your pectoralis minor, which is right here, it's a little bigger. Number three and four I'm gonna skip because it's on the back and I'll do that in a second. Number five is your linea alba, which is this white line that goes all the way down the middle. Number six is your external oblique. So number six is this outermost layer. This is your external oblique. Number seven is your internal oblique, okay? And then number nine is your transversus abdominis, okay? And your transversus abdominis is, is, is super deep, so there's intestines behind this. And it's transversely striated. So the striations, you know how muscles have striations. The muscles, the striations for the muscle go transverse. Your rectus abdominis is number eight. And that's this right here, and it's the six pack. Okay, so it's the kitty six pack. And that is number eight. And I'm going to flip the cat over. Okay, so back to number three. Number three is your trapezius, and that is this muscle right here, okay? And then your deltoid is this muscle, which is number four on your shoulder, okay? And it's actually separated into three um, sections on the cat, and on the human, it's just one big muscle. So your trapezius is number three, and that's one big muscle on the human as well, and then number four is your deltoid. And your latissimus dorsi is right here, okay? So that's a huge muscle on the back. And that is number 10. And then number 11 is your lumbal dorsal fascia, which is this fascia. A fascia is a connective tissue that kind of, it's kind of glues everything together or attaches everything together. But your lumbal dorsal fascia is, and think of like a dorsal fin on a dolphin, because um, in your lumbar vertebrae, that's exactly where it's located. That is number 10. Underneath it, and I'm gonna jump down, is number 22. And that is your sacrospinalis or erector spinae. And you just need to know the group muscle, muscle name, and there's two names for it, and you can use either one. So either sacrospinalis or erector spinae for that. Number 12 is your triceps brachii. So your triceps brachii is kind of on the lower lateral part of your arm. There are three heads to it. So your lateral head is on the outside. Your long head is underneath, okay? And then your medial head, if you open up your lateral head, your medial head is right there within it. You guys see that? And that's all number 12. On your test, you need to write triceps brachii and what head it is for the correct answer. Gracilis and sartorius are in the lower part of your leg. This is your sartorius, that is number 14, and then your gracilis is number 13. So the one way to remember this is stop on top, go for groin. Sartorius is on top, like a stoplight, and then the go is on the bottom, and that's your gracilis. So sartorius is number 14, and then your gracilis is number 13. Your tensor fascia lata is number 15, and that is this muscle right here, and it's kind of like a triangle, and it's holding fascia. It kind of looks like the muscle, maybe like a coffee drink. It kind of has a coffee drink name, and you're, so the muscle is your tensor fascia lata, and then I always think the fascia that's attached to it is like your whipped cream or your foam. Okay, number... 16 is your gluteus maximus. So this is your gluteus maximus, okay? And that is lower, and then your gluteus medius is on top, okay? 
on the cat, the gluteus medius is much larger. In the human, the gluteus maximus is much larger, mostly because we walk differently. So the gluteus medius on the cat is on top, just like on the human, it's just larger. And that is your gluteus medius is number 17, and then your gluteus maximus is number 16. Okay. And then gluteus minimus, you don't need to know on the cat. So you can skip that. It's, it's actually inside, it's pretty low. It's a deep muscle. Okay. You need to know your tibialis anterior. Your tibialis anterior is number 19, and that's on your shin. Okay. And then your gastrocnemius is your calf muscle. And gastro means belly. Gastro means belly. Um, and then your soleus, which is number 21, is underneath your gastrocnemius. So it's like the sole of the stomach, okay? So gastrocnemius is number 20, soleus is number 21. Number 22 is your sacrospinalis or erector spinae, which is underneath your lumbal dorsal fascia, which we already went over and it's right here. So that's the end of part one.